Hey guys, Ben here again and welcome back. Hey, got the classic green already. Nike SB Dunk Low and this was actually my consolation prize for Wednesday's crappy show. Actually, I was I wasn't really trying hard for the Balvins. To me, it's weak. I even like my my fear Jordan 3 to be honest. But I was so pissed about the Futura of course I was really trying hard for that but sad to say didn't get it and yeah I got my consolation prize I will compare it to the Chicago here and of course the court purple these are all JPACs black toe colorway and let's see if there's a really massive difference on the build and quality on this one I hope I will be impressed to be honest and yeah let's do this as always your purple GRSB box and this is officially classic green black and white all right, for the moment of truth. It's promising to be honest. Looks promising, guys. I hope you can see it clearly. Looking nice. And this is the first pair. So much better, I'm telling you, so much better than the Chicago's. Chicago's was a little bit disappointing because of the leather. This one is crazy nice. Mm -hmm. If you cup this pair, I'm telling you, you're lucky. This is a nice build and quality versus the Chicago. And the second pair, of course. Voila. I love the green colorway of this. You have a pair of Nike SB stickers, which is pretty normal nowadays for GRs. And you have here the spare white laces. Oh man. This is a much better version of Chicago's, I mean, not of Chicago's, not, I'm talking about the build and quality. I wish the Chicago is something like this. Can you see it guys here? So beautiful, crazy tough. I just love the contrast of the green laces and the black tongue to be honest I'm really digging it especially when you're looking on the top view and it just makes the the back of the sneakers here the the black heel support really stands out because of the green contrast colors by the way I want to check also the origin of the shoes in my case this is made in Vietnam and look at the the green contrast on the tongue I really love it guys and the, the production is the number is BQ 68173.02 and of course this is a much newer date here it says october 18 2023 slash january 6 2024 so those are the dates on the labels of the classic green sb dunk low pro man 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 Luckily that these are sitting right now here in EU, you can also buy it in any skate shops. 
they are all pretty available and that's the good thing about it because if you want to catch the JPAC SBs then it's pretty much an easy cop and yeah I really love how the market is going on right now I am digging this this to give you again a quick overview of the sneakers this is so thick here you see the swoosh is so thick this is a really really good quality of SB so far and the thing why I said that because I'm like I said it's super disappointed on the Chicago's it was a bad QC the leathers are super flimsy but this is at least somehow SB is back again on its quality level all right and I really love this this is superb quality and this is the Chicago man the Chicago is not even close as you can see here this is so 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 soft that it's kind of feel like super flimsy and this one is tough and you can see here that it's it's even much even thicker I don't know but I feels like it's thicker maybe it's just because the the leather of this ones are much let's say sturdy compared to the black purple I mean court purple they are almost similar like 90% but I'm still leaning towards the, the classic green this feels so tough on hand and you can feel that it's it's just properly built the sneakers is much much properly built although it's really I'm not saying that it's there's a massive difference between the court purple but in between court purple SB Chicago and the classic greens the SB Chicago's is the it's the last in terms of building quality the first would be the classic greens and the court purple this is the last one SB Chicago's but it's just so dope the color wave I'm not gonna lie the one is pretty iconic and this would be the second in terms of colorway third would be the court purple and for the quality this is tough really nice I would put the the classic green to be in the number one position okay if you have more questions I would drop another video probably next week again on the unfit about the unfit and lace swaps of course and yeah thanks for tuning in I will see you next time cheers